10 summer crafts, but all of them have to be candy. This mosaic stepping stone is from Five Below. It was $3.25, but we're gonna spice it up and make it sweeter. Now I'm smoothing it down. These beads are so cute. They kind of look like they're coated in sugar, like sour candy and also like a candy necklace. Let's make some rings based off of my favorite candy, some bubble tape. I've got my colors. Look at the pretty glitter, but I'm gonna add more. I'm adding this super pretty bubblegum pink glitter. I'm making this bracelet for Ashley because Rainbow Nerds rope is her favorite candy. So let's make it a bracelet. Start with one band and twist it. You're gonna loop one side around one side of your rainbow loom and then the other around the other side of your rainbow loom. You should have an X in the middle. Now you're gonna put on two more bands. These are not getting twisted. One and two. Make sure that they're not overlapping and they're in order of when you put them down so everything is all lined up and even. We're gonna lift up the band all the way at the bottom, the first one that we put on, and overlap it. Bring it to the center so now you have the band right in the middle. Push this down and add another band. Again, not twisting it. Now pull up the second one you put on, which is now the first at the bottom, and bring it back over. Now just keep doing this until you're almost finished and you'll have a perfect fishtail rainbow loom. But let's finish this off. To finish it, act like you would make another loop around. Just bring the second one up. And now we're gonna grab our end band. They come in a pack like this and they look kind of like little ears. Looks like this. And attach it to your bottom band.
This ring is inspired by trolley gummy worms. You can see I made little mini worms. Pull your two bands through. This ring is inspired by Reese's Cups. And this ring is also inspired by the bubble tape. I think it's so fun. Now that your bands are connected to the connector, add the other side to the connector. Now you have a bracelet. I'm so excited to give this to Ashley. A Skittles ring and they have mini Skittles. Here is the Nerds Rope and here is my Nerds Rope bracelet. I think it's super cute. The bubble tape ring, it's so cute and I love the tie-dye stripe. Your bracelet and your snack. I love it, thank you so much. Let's see how my glue gummy worms came out. So cute and really realistic. They actually look gummy. It is so cool, so cute. But now let's make another one. For this, you'll need a silicone mold. It doesn't have to be in the shape of a chocolate bar, but I wanted a chocolate bar because I love chocolate. So let's start with our mold and some brown glitter. This glitter is so pretty and it's gonna make our candy bar look that much more scrumptious. Add some glitter on, not too much, but just enough. Let's see how our gummy bears came out. They are so cute. I love the ones that have a little bit of other colors in it. They came out so cute. He has on a shirt. Let's use these peppermint beads. They're rainbow and they're so, so pretty. And our gummy bears that we made to vamp up this super cute container. I'm gonna put the candy drops in the center of the square. Make like a really cute pattern. Now we're gonna attach our gummy bears right in the middle of each of my candy drops. I also made these little Swedish fish, but I don't think they're gonna fit. It's so cute and ready for all of your knickknacks. For the handle, look how cute it came out. It is super, super candy. And I love the little gummy bear right here at the opening. So cute and you can keep so much stuff in here. This is not only a craft, but a delicious recipe. Grab any kind of icy mold that you have. This one's really cute because they're actually little ring pops. Or Nerds Gummy Clusters. These are making a lot of appearances here in this video because they are our favorite candy. We're gonna add a few into each little mold. These Lifesaver Gummies. Now I have some Jelly Belly Vanilla Bean Seltzer. Add it to each mold. Because it's fizzy, don't wanna overflow it because you might not realize the bubbles are super high. The mix of the vanilla and all of the flavors is gonna be so good. Kind of like a cherry vanilla Coke, which is what we're going for. Add in your sticks. I just need to quickly say the sound of these fizzies are so cute. Now let's freeze. Let's freeze it until they are perfect little icicles. I saw this Reese's Pieces little stress ball and it reminded me of jelly fruits and I haven't seen those for a while, so let's make some. Now here is a pro tip. Grab your Ziploc bag or any bag and put it into a mason jar or a cup so that when you make your jelly fruit, it doesn't spill everywhere. Sour powder bubble gum. It's tutti frutti, ooh, my favorite. I'm using a lot because I want it to make the actual liquid that we use flavorful. Perfect. Now we have a push pop gummy roll. This is tropical rainbow. So, okay. so now I have a little piece. I'm just gonna separate them by the color. Perfect. Great. Rock candy. So now I'm gonna crush it a little bit. I'm just kidding, I'm gonna put, put it against here. I have some pretty good crystals. I'm just gonna pour these right in. Now for the finishing touch and what's gonna make this all come together, a little bit of Jelly Belly um, vanilla bean sparkling water. It's gonna be a really good flavor combo. Now let's lift it up and zip it up. 
kind of like rotten milk and seltzer mixed together. Well, I'm so excited for someone to make this and try it and let me know if it's any good. Um, it looks good. I made one that uh, was a little bit more appetizing. It's definitely not as flavorful as the other one. I knew that would happen, but I didn't know what happened. I already made a candy cramp for my sister, so now it's time to make one for my mom. My mom loves cotton candy, so this is perfect. Start with a big hiking bag. You can use a Ziploc bag, but this is great because it's the perfect size. She actually really likes these Lifesaver gummies. Ice cream cone. Perfect. Cotton candy, any flavor works, but I'm using the Skittles for the candy theme today. It smells like a candy apple. You wanna try it? Ashley's right here and she's gonna smell it and let us know what she thinks. Okay, she's really getting a good scent. It smells like strawberry to me. <laughs> oh. mm. <laughs> okay, that looks so good. I have the two scoops of Skittles cotton candy on there. Now for a little special finishing touch, I have a this is the jumbo ring pop, ring pop. It actually lights up, I believe. I also don't know if that's true, but it is a jumbo, and I'm gonna keep it in there because um, I want it to stay nice and cute. So now it's gonna be my cherry on top. Bundle this together, tie it up. Look how cute, now it, but this is honestly the cutest thing I've ever seen. I have one, two, three candies all in one, as well as a waffle cone. And this is definitely my favorite. Let's make a candy sticker. We're gonna start with any, you know, candy that's your favorite or any one with a label you think is really cute. I think that this bubble yum label is so cute. It's metallic and it's pink and blue and just so pretty. So this is definitely gonna be a perfect sticker. Let's cut out the logo. Cut it out, keeping as much as you want or as little as you want, whatever you want to be your sticker. Some parchment paper and some shipping tape. And put enough shipping tape to cover what would be the size of your sticker. Line it up so there's no gaps. Now that you have your duct tape on your parchment paper, we're gonna cut it out. Grab your design. And some more tape, making sure that this is perfectly flat. Perfect. Now we're gonna cut it out. I'm gonna leave some white in the background so that you have, you know, a little bit of space between the tape and your design. I got this 10 pack of blank books from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use this pink one to make it match and we're gonna make it really cute. And this is how it stickers. Unpeel the parchment paper and now you have a sticker, your very own sticker. You can put anything in this and it will work. This is one of my favorite DIYs so far. I loved how you can take old candy wrappers or anything that you like and instantly turn them into stickers. It is so easy and peeling and sticking was so much fun. This candy treat is so chill. I was so excited to take it out of the freezer and oh my goodness, what a candy delight. I love how it's in the shape of candy rings. This was so yummy and we shared it with all of our friends. Look how cute, they're also so bright. Perfect for summertime. I love them so much. Next, we have our glue stick chocolate bar. I love the brown sparkles. This was really fun. For our neon bright candy, I love this trinket tray.